Good morning, church. Good morning, um, or good afternoon, or good evening. It all depends on what time you are watching this devotional. My name is Joyce. I am a member of the Central Campus, Audacious Central, and I'm also one of the leaders in the Wellbeing course, and I leads the healthcare professionals life group it's my privilege and honor to be with you today and we're going to be talking about relationships the power of relationships now we all agree that relationships are important don't we that goes without saying we need meaningful relationships in our lives um and we know that meaningful relationships can affect and improve our lives quite significantly in fact, did you know that current research shows that the number one predictor of good health and happiness was the quality of your closest relationships? Did you know that? So if you had good relationships with maybe a spouse or family members or friends or even colleagues, it actually made you live longer, have less disease and you were happier. There you go. That's research into relationships. But also relationships help us when we are going through difficult times. It's so important to have people there with you, to support you, to encourage you through whatever you may be going through. And believe me, with life, we do go through a lot. There is a saying that goes, people will forget what you um, said but they won't forget how you made them feel. Let's think about that. Now, this reminds me of something that happened to me. In 1997, my father died following a car accident. He died on the spot. It was quite a nasty car accident. Um, he was only 57 at the time and he was the most active man I knew, very active. Um, and as you can imagine, his death was a huge shock to me and my siblings and my other family members. And thankfully, I was surrounded by people. I was surrounded by my family, um, my friends and even my colleagues. They all rallied round um, at that difficult time. But there was someone who really stood out for me, really stood out for me. And he, it was my then fiance, he's now my husband, his brother, Issa. Issa was simply amazing. He virtually moved into my house. And if my husband is listening or watching this, he would know um, because he was out of state at the time and Issa just took over. Issa would arrive at the house first thing in the morning and he would just do whatever we needed him to do. He refused to let me drive. Issa was my driver. He was my confidant. He ate with us. He um, cried with us. He accompanied us wherever we needed to go during that difficult time. And I have never experienced anything like it. It was absolutely amazing. He's now my brother-in-law and he remains a very dear, reliable, close family member. And reflecting on, on this, I honestly cannot remember any conversation I had with Issa. We must have had many. Um, but I do remember what it felt like for me to have that level of support that level of assistance, and to be honest, that level of love. Um, and I will never forget that. And so the Bible calls us to be authentic in dealing with our people. Just be yourself, be present, and also to put people first. That is why we are Christ-like. We are followers and believers of what Christ did for us. And Christ did the ultimate, didn't he? He died on the cross for each and every one of us. So my prayer to you is that God will bring the right people into your lives at the right time. Remember, he is always working for your behalf. His plans for us are good. Let us pray. Father, I just thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord God, for this information. And thank you, Lord God, for each and every one 
of us who are listening to this message today. Father, you know what's going on in their hearts. I pray, Lord God, that you send the right people to whoever is hurting at this moment. Send the right people who can utter the right words and give the right level of support to those who need it at the moment. I pray for those who are not going through issues, but who are going through life, that they can nourish and nurture and encourage good, healthy relationships with others so that they too can be a source of encouragement and support to people when they need it. Thank you, holy and adorable Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you, church. Bye-bye.